Currently, I'm logged in with the administrative right and Windows authentication. As you can see over here, return administrator. Now right click on the SQL server and then click on properties. From the properties windows, click on security. Click on the radio button where it says SQL server and windows authentication mode. And then click OK. It is prompting to restart the SQL server. We'll do that later. Now go to security. From the security drop down, click on logins. And there you are going to see a username which is SA. By default, this user is disabled. So right click on this user and then go to properties. From the properties dialog box, first thing we have to do is to change the password. So let us change the password by entering the password in the password dialog box. Once the password is changed, click on status. Here you can see the login for the SA user is disabled. So we have to click on enable. Then click OK. Now when I click on refresh, you will see the cross mark on the SA user has been removed. Now go to the SQL server, right click and click on restart. It will prompt, do you want to restart the SQL server? Click yes. Once the restart is completed, disconnect from the SQL server and then reconnect with the SQL server authentication. Now in the login, I'm going to enter SA and the password will be the password which I have entered. So enter the password which you have entered at your end, then click on remember password, then click on connect. It completes our this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. In our next video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new user in SQL Server. My name is Sajin and you're watching this video on YouTube.